My report for RUSI looks at different forms of infiltration of Germany by both Russia and China. They do take uh, varied methods of doing this. The Russian one is based far more around a direct attempt at infiltrating and undermining confidence in democratic systems. This is done predominantly through hybrid, through social media and other forms of media and cultural uh, links alongside what I call elite capture, which is the uh, bringing together of quite often retired senior statesmen very much to uh, give Russia the benefit of the doubt on international forums. The Chinese method is different. It's based around economic, economic acquisition, particularly of Germany's world-famous Mittelstand. It's uh, engineering-based, uh, medium-sized companies based predominantly in the regions. From that point, China then exercises strategic influence and power, not just across Germany, Europe's largest economy, but across the continent as well. So I cite a series of examples for this paper, giving evidence of both and the importance for Germany and the West of combating both. That, however, is undermined by extremely poisonous relationship uh, between Donald Trump and the German leadership. And so one of the key tasks for the successor to Angela Merkel, who has run German and Germany with uh, extraordinary aplomb for the past 15 years, but who will stand down in the second half of 2021, is to manage not just the American relationship and to seek to repair it alongside the Western Alliance more broadly, but really to introduce more robust mechanisms and to lead from the front when it comes to safeguarding European democratic institutions from increasingly confident Russian and Chinese incursions.